What's going on there folks? Good early, early, definitely early for me. Uh, Friday morning, July 16th, 2021, about 5.45 a.m. West Coast time. It's actually pretty nice and cool out here this morning. Here in California, about 57 degrees where I live. So I'll take that over 100 degrees uh, for an afternoon high. That's for sure. Not good. I love the cooler weather, much cooler weather. Um, Anyway, what do we got going on out there, folks? Doesn't look like a lot on the Earthquake 3D globe, but let me show you something. There's quite the uptick in earthquake activity taking place in the Yellowstone National Park area. Let me see if I can get this to come up here. There we go. So once again, we were looking at this kind of last night. Uh, we weren't looking at any major swarming. We were kind of investigating a little bit of a... Uh, um, odd signature showing up over here on the northwest corner of the park uh, <clears throat> excuse me i'm pretty sure that this is still thunderstorm related activity um, if there was no storms going on over there no weather i would be concerned because this strange activity has been quickly followed up by a massive amount of earthquakes taking place there around the lake yellowstone area a lot of earthquakes now these are not major earthquakes but it's definitely a major swarm taking place uh, in yellowstone national park right in the area uh, where we've seen past swarms including the uh, oh pretty good significant swarm back in 2008 uh, right around december in fact i have those pulled up i was just looking at them uh december uh, 30th 2008 this lasted for about a week and a half two weeks or so now, these were kind of a little bit on the larger size, uh, up to a 3.9 magnitude earthquake was, I believe, the largest in this uh, earthquake swarm that they had. And it lasted, uh, it lasted for, like I said, about a week and a half or so, maybe a little bit longer. Um, and there was, a, there was a bunch, but as you can see, these quakes showed up all over the park here. There, yes, there were some smaller ones, and you got to go to the same area, roughly around the area of uh, the Lake Yellowstone areas where the seems like the epicenter was because you could see much more of the uh, the quakes, right? You can see a lot more of the microquakes um, around the Lake Yellowstone area compared to other areas. These other areas definitely picked up the larger quakes, lots of twos, lots of threes in there as well. Uh, but when it comes to the microquake activity, look at that. That was impressive. I remember watching this nonstop, just staring at the uh, seismograph station. So that was back in 2008. Um, so today, let me bring up today. Uh, we're seeing right around this same area, Lake Yellowstone area. Um, not as big, right? These are not as big earthquakes, but they're definitely showing up um, throughout the park. Let's go ahead and check out some uh, some of these graphs here. It all kicked off last night with a uh, just a, and this is typically how earthquake swarm happen happens uh, up at Yellowstone. It just bam, it just pops up out of the blue. There's no foreshock. There's no like, you know, main quake, and then you get a whole bunch. It's just an earthquake swarm. And there's a lot. There is a lot on here. Every single one of these spikes, even including these little ones. There's probably well over a hundred well over a hundred and it's still continuing to this hour i want to show you guys the, the uh um, the map here from the usgs this is is the uh, i believe the all magnitudes right okay but man i tell you what these guys are going to be busy the folks there studying these graphs determining uh, that's 2008 i don't want to get those mixed up there but determining how many earthquakes are taking place here they're going to be busy so make sure your coffee is strong this morning, uh, those folks here at the USGS. 11 earthquakes so far um, that they've caught. Looks like the biggest one so far is going to be a 2.5. And once again, right, right smack dab at Lake Yellowstone, the same area uh, where 2000, the uh, 2008 swarm hit. But we've seen over the past, at least since then, I've studied and watched Yellowstone for quite a while so these swarms are common and very interesting uh, to watch when it comes to seismic activity we've seen them kick off over here in the northwest corner of the park 
Uh, we had a swarm that lasted in the summer of, what was it? It was about three years ago. I'm wanting to say it may have been even longer than that. Um, I think it was in 2017 we had a couple months of earthquake swarm. Um, it, it didn't look like that every day, but they, de they definitely had earthquake activity every day um, for a couple months in the northwest corner of the park over here around Maple Creek, I believe, uh, was the ep epicenter area. So today, um, you know, it's just, it's something to watch, folks. It's something to keep an eye on. I, you know, I, when this stuff was coming in yesterday, this line of activity that looks like potential magma movement, volcanic activity, I was like, wait a minute, what in the world is going on here? But I looked on the radar uh, and I seen a, a pretty good swath of thunderstorms over this area and lots of lightning strikes. And a lot of people are wondering how, well, how can weather and stuff like that be picked up by seismographs? I've seen wind events up here show up on all of these stations. Um, so I'm not for sure how they have them set up, but vibrations in the ground from thunder, um, wind, when you have a good amount of wind can create frequency vibrations in the ground. Um, thunder definitely everyone knows thunder can right it rattles windows it creates a low frequency type thing and that's kind of what this looks like um, over here on this signature which showed up um, on quite a few stations Mary Lake Purple Mountain including down here in Moose Creek Idaho uh, but the thunderstorm activity it seemed it seemed as though it was right here in this region so kind of why it's not showing up over here. I think it, they may have dissipated or moved off in a different direction. Otherwise, if those thunderstorms weren't there and this showed up, that signature like that showed up along all these seismograph stations, I would be a little bit concerned. But uh, it just it seems like it's a coincidence. After that little signature, now we've got a pretty good sized swarm going on, folks. Um, so 2.5, the largest in this little earthquake swarm that we have at Yellowstone uh, National Park over the lake, under the lake, I should say. Yeah, there's just a massive amount, a massive amount of earthquakes, holy smokes. So nothing to get worried about. I know I've seen a lot of stuff going on on social media about, uh, oh, now, now it's really going to blow up because, um, of all these quakes that are taking place but it's you know Yellowstone's a beast there's no doubt it's a beast but um, I think we would have pin impending type notifications so to speak if this thing were about ready to you know blow or get active as uh, far as like producing volcanic uh, explosions but Earthquake swarms are common. I could go back here on this map and show you years and months and years of earthquake swarms uh, and nothing happened. So, but it's cool to watch. It's definitely cool to watch. Um, let's see here. I said a 2.5 was the largest. Largest quake there. That swarm... There, but it possibly right. Could be. I'm just looking at some of these signatures that get picked up here. Um, hard to say where the 2.5 is in here, but there's a bunch of quakes, man. Let me tell you, it's incredible. Um, I'm not for sure if I have on this computer the uh, <clears throat> Yellowstone GPS measurements. Uh, that monitors, uh, you know, fluctuations in the ground as far as rising um, and inflation and whatnot. Um, let me see here. Let's see if I can pick that up. Uh, GPS monitoring. Let's see if I can find that. ankle bracelet uh no <laughs> 
what? That was kind of weird. So yeah, this is the, uh, I got to make sure I bookmark this page. I haven't really looked at it for a long time because it's, uh, there we go. If I can pop that in there. Yeah, I haven't really looked at it uh, too much because it's been somewhat quiet there at Yellowstone and I've gotten my computer, different computer, uh, since the uh, last significant swarm. Deformation, monitoring deformation in Yellowstone National Park. Last time I checked, I remember it was uh, kind of uh, subsiding. Um, and you can also monitor hydrothermal type stuff throughout the park. See if there's an increase in, um, you know, hydrothermal activity. Which is pretty cool. I'm not going to go through all of this, but uh, I want to include the link here so you guys can look at this. I need to look, I need to study this a little bit more before I... Um, see what they got here of course everything's green normal when did this get put out this got put out Thursday July 1st um, let's see here uh, located 445 earthquakes there's gonna be a lot more than that that was for uh, June. I just want to see if they mention anything about any uplift. Currently above background levels. Obviously it is now ground deformation subsidence of the Yellowstone caldera, which has been ongoing since about 2015. Slowed during May, June 2021, reflecting seasonal groundwater recharge. Every summer water from snow melt causes the ground to swell slightly resulting in a pause in subsidence uh, subsidence trends or even a minor amount of uplift less than one cm fraction of an inch that's very minor in the area of the norris geyser basin no significant uplift or subsidence has been detected by a nearby gps station since the start of uh, 2020 But who knows? Kind of interesting there. It's uh, hmm. Anyway, yeah. So I, I just, I woke up this morning and seen this kicking off like that, and uh, I just wanted to jump on here and do an update. Uh, let, let people know there's a pretty good swarm 2.9 2.9 that's gonna be the largest one now let me show you guys here real quick I got a little issue with my bitrate um, this morning there's a Yellowstone um, station Canyon it's a little to the west I believe of yellow Lake Yellowstone but it's picking up the earthquakes now um, and it looks as though they just had a 2.9, uh, which would make it the largest quake in this uh, cluster of um, earthquakes there at Yellowstone National Park. So I'm going to see if I can't find me a, uh, see if I can't get Lake Yellowstone Station to come up um, to monitor all the activity because this canyon station uh, it, it's still within the Yellowstone area, <clears throat> Yellowstone National Park, but it's not super close uh, to Lake Yellowstone to pick up the seismic activity, but it's definitely picking it up, uh, just not as sharply and distinctly, uh, and, and it, I don't think it's really picking up the super small ones, so I'm going to see if I can't find a, uh, a closer station to monitor. So now we're looking at uh, 13 earthquakes. 2.9 <clears throat> looks like that just happened uh, oh just a few minutes ago look at the depth of this about negative 1.9 
A lot of these are very shallow quakes. One kilometer. But then we're also getting fluctuations down to about seven kilometers, so eight kilometers. <clears throat> I want to see if uh, these have been reviewed or not. Yes, this one has been reviewed. So that's a good one. I, I'm going to check some of these shallow ones here and see if see if they have been reviewed or not. Let's check out this 1.9. That has been reviewed as well, so it looks like the uh, the depth of these earthquakes are going to hold. Uh, I think we could be seeing a, a start of a, a pretty extensive earthquake swarm kicking off here at Yellowstone. Let me refresh this map, see if it picked up that 2.9. Ooh, man, look at that activity kicking up. Woo! Trying to see which one of these has the most clearest, most well-defined. Th I'm, I'm thinking Lake Butte here is right smack dab over it. <clears throat> All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Um, I'm going to be monitoring this uh, activity there at Yellowstone National Park this morning and keeping my eyes open for uh, any unusual signs and, and uh, signatures. But I, I'm believing right now this is um, just general um, uh, general earthquake activity, no volcanic movement. Like I say, that scared the heck out of me yesterday when I seen that, but uh, I'm, I'm calling that thunderstorm activity. Uh, so yeah, all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here um, and see if I can't find a better station to monitor there in, in the uh, Yellowstone area. And I've accessed them before, this canyon station, Canyon 206, Yellowstone, Wyoming. A little bit too far away for monitoring, but look at that. Definitely ramping up here this morning uh, at Yellowstone National Park.